Full Metal Alchemist, Volume 7, Chapter 26, To Meet the Master. Okay, here's your usual prescription. Thank you very much, teacher. Uh, doctor, do you know much about amnesia? Amnesia? It's not my area of expertise. Why do you ask? A friend of mine lost a small portion of his memory. I was hoping there was some way I could help him. The most well-known method uh, is to use hypnosis to retrace the person's memories back to the subconscious. I've also heard that a strong shock can make old memories resurface. Strong shock, huh? I guess I could try bash his head in when I get home. Thank you, doctor. Please excuse me. By the way, you're looking healthier lately, Zumi. Huh? You sure? You must be getting more rest. Huh, not at all. Ever since my family got bigger, I haven't had a moment's peace. Oh. Got Ed and Al chasing after a dog who took Al's helmet. Okay. Ed's shocked. What's the matter, big brother? Throw your back? I totally forgot about this year's assessment. No way! This year's what? The annual assessment for the alchemist. Every year we have to pass an, an assessment or they'll take away our license. I've been so busy lately. I forgot all about it. This isn't good. Not good at all. She's on the phone. Great. You can use this opportunity to quit being the military's dog. I'll go ahead and let military HQ know you won't be showing up. He's like, stop. I mean to go to headquarters anyways. Make sure I have, like, for, like, summon house. Hello. Okay, he's packing. Wait, big brother. South HQ is much closer than Central. It's only two stations away by train. Got it. Thanks, Al. What about your report? I'll just whip something up on the train. You be careful out there. Yeah, yeah. Only be gone two or three days. Well, I'm off. Like zoom. Is he always in such a rush? Uh-huh. Um, in fact, that's my brother for you. Someone really should keep an eye on him. I better go too. See a teacher and she's like pulling back. Not so fast, heart. You're gonna stay here and spar with me. Say ye. And oh, Scar, okay. He's like trained with a dumbbell. You know, like cement. Or rocks. And the kid comes in. Ah, no, not again. Uh, should you push yourself so hard when your wounds haven't even healed yet? And his ball and warrior must train continuously. Just wash your face and throw the rag at him. You got a visitor. Hmm? Master. Oh. I'm glad to see that you are well. And I'm happy to see you alive. Where have you been all this time? I took refuge in the southern mountains with other vacuees. I hear that some of our priests escaped to the eastern desert. I don't know if they survived. The military has been increasing its activities in the south. So I came east to avoid confrontation. That's when I started hearing rumors about you. They say that you've been systematically killing the alchemists. It's true that state alchemists are responsible for burning down our villages. I understand why you hate them. But what you are doing is nothing but senseless revenge. Vengeance sows the seeds for more vengeance. This vicious cycle has to stop. This is a time of trial. We must endure. Okay? Two guys just barge in. Don't mind us. That's our man, alright. This bone with the uh, X shaped scar. One of you desert rats was nice enough to tell us that there's an injured man here with a bounty on his head. Heck of a bounty, too. Kick, kick, kick. We're gonna be rich. What do you say? Like, no one here would sell out a fellow refugee. So who? Oh, it's the dude from the coal mines. Thanks for the tip, Yoki. We'll split it three ways, like we agreed. Yoki, how could you? We took you in when you didn't have any place to go. We treat you like family. Sh shut up. You people lost the war. It's over. I'm not like you at all. I need that money to get back on my feet. I'll use the ray rise back to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all right, you two, get him, wink. He comes out. Now if I stay here, it'll just bring trouble. No, don't let them. Grabs his shoulder. That's it. Nice and easy. <laughs> You're headed for the big house, buddy. 
takes off his arm. He's holding it. Like, what? Arm goes up. So he's going to punch him. You something. What do you do to him? Grabs his face. Uh Uh-oh. Squeeze. I'll give you a moment to pray. Pray? What the heck? Are you some kind of... Boom! Gets him. Uh Uh-oh. Stares him. Uh, Eek! Like, no, no, wait, stop, stay away. I didn't mean nothing, man. You gotta believe me. That guy with a mustache. It was all his idea. He, he tricked me. It's like, what? And he's being me up. He's glaring him. He, uh-oh. Picks up the sunglasses. You're leaving? Your older brother will be sad. Oh, so he has a brother. Okay. Getting ready to go. Puts on the sunglasses for me. There's no turning back. Go to Al, sleep in, from the meat. Okay. All paper, huh? Alright, who's the litter bug? You look around, he opens up. Oh, it's the litter guy, okay. Think he'll come? These guys, the hammer. Okay. Don't know. Maybe he'll bring company. Sniffs? He's here. Is he alone? He's pretty brave, or stupid. He has a sword. He's alone. He steps. Hops down. We've been waiting for you. Clink. We know your secret. Meet us at the abandoned factory on the west side. Are you the guys who wrote this? That's us. There's a lot we know about you. Good. Because I want to find out about myself too. Then let's get to the point. Come with us. And you might find out about what you want to know. But my teacher said I'm not supposed to go with strangers. Hmm? How old are you? Fourteen? Fourteen years old. I should be able to think and act for themselves, right? Listen. He's like, uh-huh. Listen. If you're a man, then you should make your own decisions. No more that teacher, says Dumpin. Uh, tell us what you want. You're right. I should make my own decisions. Now you're getting it. So just come with us. It's like, boom! Kicks him. Whoop, down. After thinking for myself. I decided to make you guys tell me. Oh. Okay, hammer time. So it comes down to force, does it? Thunk. Dash. Brace yourself and runs past him. Zoom. To the door, huh? He ran away. Mm, yes. What do you mean? Mm, yes. After him, Loa. Hmm, yes. Rushing after him? Darn it. This guy's peeing me off. Don't sweat it. We got the home court advantage. There's no way someone who's never been here before could find his way through this place. Eventually, he'll run to a dead end. Then we nab him. Piece of cake. Swoop. Goes around the corner. Piece of cake. Swoop. It's like ducking and dodging and everything. What the heck? I thought we had the home court advantage. Like, hmm. It sure brings back memories. Big Brother and I played a lot of hide and seek here when we were training. That darn suit of armor just keeps running and running. Will uh, will he ever stop and fight? I see. I guess not having a body has its advantages. What? He doesn't have to worry about getting tired. Hmm? He's planning on running us in circles until we're worn out, then stopping to finish it off. Okay. Duke comes back. That little brat. Uh, Dorchet. You run on the pipes? So you finally woke up. Shut up. Hey, Martel, how long are you going to let that uh, lumbering ox, Loa, drag you down? Come with me. Uh, we'll come off and force him to fight. Got it. Okay, well, now what? You just sit in there? Should I set a trap for them? Hmm. If only I could just clap my hands and sure transmute like my brother. And the pipe snapping? Oh, it comes down. Slashing it. He hops over him. Slash it back. Oh. But Owl kicks. Like, duck in the back. Use the back of the blade to try to stun him. Didn't work. Of course, he's a suit of armor. I love to just chop this guy in half. But I have my orders. He's a tough opponent, alright? He's in his fighting stance. Since he's fighting hand to hand, as long as I keep my distance, I should be okay. And boom! Punch him in the face. It's like, he's got long arms. Chunk. 
puts his sword beneath the helmet and knocks off. Doom. Oh man, now my head again. Thump. Falls over. Ow. Oh. Okay. Now she's down on him. Thump. Sorry to drop in. Wait. It's like elongating her arms and twisting in, huh? Stroop. My, my. That wasn't so hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's inside me. He's freaking out. Hey, cut out. Stay still, will you? Thunk. Trying to get off his shoulders. Uh, this is too weird. Nap. Even if I can't feel anything. It's still gross. Get out. I'm not gonna. Crick, crick. Stretch. Be that easy. Crick. Like taking his arm? So, how does it feel to have your body controlled from within? Try all you want. You can't control me completely. I'm still strong in you. Crick, crick. <laughs> this isn't a contest of strength. Okay. Uh oh, big guy. If I can slow down your movements even a tiny bit, then you're going down. Huh? Like bang. So he swings back. Got my arm bar. Boom. Urgh. You okay in there? I hit my head. Okay, do get back up. Took you long enough, Loa. Huh. Okay. He throws Alice helmet. Alright, brat. I still want to smack you, but I don't end up hurting my hand. I guess you're off the hook. Alphonse Ira, right? You're going with us. To meet our master. Okay. Their master. Okay. Chapter 27. Beast of Dublin. Okay. Go back to the meat. Huh? Alphonse isn't back yet? What could he be up to? You know, boss, I'm a little worried. Maybe he was kidnapped. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> like that could ever happen. And there he is, kidnapped. Sorry about this, psyching him. I got guard duty. I know it feels weird with me inside, but you've just got to deal with it, okay? That's alright. I'm more used to it. Just don't touch the blood rune in there. She's looking at it. It's the only thing that's keeping me in this world. You know, your body's pretty neat. Like, you're pretty uh, unusual yourself, aren't you, miss? Do you know what a chimera is? My body. It's part snake. Okay. But, but, that's impossible. I thought you couldn't make human-animal chimeras. No one's ever succeeded. How rude. If I'm not a success, then what am I? I used to be a soldier. Uh, I was quickly wounded in the South Border War. The military dragged my hafted body to their laboratories and used me for their experiments. Now they do the swords like, hanging on the box, and that's how I got like this. But that's awful, awful. I can't believe the military would do that. Experiment on people, changing your body is too horrible for words. <laughs> I guess it was pretty callous. The last thing I remembered was having half my body blown off by a mine, and when I woke up, I had the body of a snake. Yeah, they didn't give a darn what uh, we wanted. Smoking a pipe. To those scientists, we were just lab rats. Here he is. And you don't even want to know what the failures look like. Oh, we were the success stories. We got a second chance in life because we were survivors. If they hadn't picked me, I would have died anyway. Human or chimera, it doesn't matter in the end. At least I'm alive. What ammo did they combine with you? I uh, guess. Just watch. He raises one leg and he pees. I do not. Was it a dog? Yeah. It's not so bad. I kind of like it. You're pretty positive about it. Maybe too positive. Anything's great after being in that godforsaken lab. And here comes the boss. Everyone here has some reason that they can't live in the normal world. Mm -hmm. Is that him? Yeah. Takes off his helmet. Whoa, cool. He really is empty on the inside. One cloak. Hey. Puts it back. Nice to meet you, kid. My name is Greed. Let's be friends. The... The... Ouroboros tattoo. Huh? You know about this? 
I met someone weird in Central who had the mark. Huh. So you met one of the others. Which one? Was it that Hagalust or that lazy sloth? Ah, doesn't matter. What? Are you some kind of bad guys? I wouldn't say that we're bad, but we're not exactly good either. So, ow, isn't it? Yeah. What does it feel like to be nothing but a soul with a body that can never die? How do you know about that about me? Gahaha, <laughs> how'd I know? Remember when you fought a serial killer back in East City? Oh, when you chopped up? Plenty of uh, civilians and soldiers were on the scene and they saw you. The commander in charge of the operation placed the gag order on the instant, but secrets have a way of getting out. Anyway, I've got my sources. Why did you bring me here? Transmuting a person's soul and binding it to a physical object. Think about it. If you can do that, you got yourself eternal life. Am I right? I want it all. Money. X. Power. Fame. I want everything in the world. And most of all, eternal life. The secret, uh, the secret lies inside of you. And now you're going to help me get it. Try to refuse and I'll cut you apart. Find the secrets of your soul. What shame. You are a bad guy. Oh, he drew a circle. Stretch. Huh? Bam. Got a rock to uppercut him. Slam. You let your guard down. Do another circle. I can easily break these chains with alchemy. You were saying? Come down. Grab his head. Boom. Just chill, okay? Grind, grind. Like, oops, sorry about that, Man mental, it's just like knocked out. Forgot you were in there. Ha ha ha, you got spunk, kid. Like, I'll give you that. But parlor tricks like these aren't going to cut it. Just, if you really want to kill me, then you got to try harder, like this. Boom! Just bash his head with a hammer. Down, huh? What? Why did you do that? He was your, like, friend. He puts up his hand, huh? His face is grown back. Ah, quick, quick. Oh, that's nice. That's how you kill a guy. Uh, hey, Loa. Couldn't you have made it a little bit cleaner? Quick, quick. Oh, sorry, boss. So, as you can see, so the blood from his nose, you can't come at me half-baked. No, you can't be. You can't be immortal. You're right. Even with a body like this, I'm not immortal. You've heard of a homunculus, right? It's an artificial human being. A person that's not a person. That's what you're looking at right now. I was made to last. I might look young, but I've been around for close to 200 years. That's impossible. I thought no one ever made a monkless. It's just a theory. Gahaha. <laughs> How little you understand. There's another world outside of the one you live in. A shadow world. Things go on down here. That you people in the light would never believe. You're told that successful chimera didn't exist. And yet here they are. Nothing is impossible. The fact that you exist proves that, doesn't it? You, who only have a soul. I've told you my secret. Now tell me yours. Tell me what they did with your soul. I tell them if I were you. You don't want to be taken apart and treated like a lab animal, do you? I can't. I don't remember how I got this body. Someone else performed the alchemy. I don't know anything, honest. Then. All we have to do is ask the guy who performed the transmutation. Well, that would be my big brother. But he, he's gone. Like, what's that Rumi? Well, beneath that metal exterior, he is just a 14 year old boy. Kids that age can be sensitive, you know? It's like, oh my. Sorry about your loss, kid. We cool? Uh, it'll be alright, okay? It's like, uh, for some reason they think that you're dead, big brother. Hachu, like, do you have cold? It's like, maybe, oh man, 
Niven. Okay. Take this to the office of uh, technical evaluation. Thanks. You missed your deadline. So it's so it's going to take a while to process the paperwork. Uh, this is my first time at South HQ. And I already feel lost. Excuse me. I'm looking for the office of technical evaluation. Can you tell me? And there's Armstrong. He's going the door. Oh, he's like, ah, uh, hug, shriek, oh, snap. Whoa, ha, ha. Got the president or uh, president for king. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. I'm so glad to see you. Well, like, uh huh. I'm honored to have been chosen to escort the fear president on his inspection of the southern headquarters. Uh huh. What crummy timing. Wow. You're here for your assessment, are you? Yeah, but I missed the deadline, so it's going to take them a while to process the documents. Oh, that's all? Here, let me see the form. My sill, please. Yes, sir. You passed. Uh, okay. Assessment complete. <laughs> Here. It's like, uh, Edward Ehrlich, how fortunate you are. It's like, th that can't be right. I, who's to tell him no? Relax. Based on what I've seen of your performance over the years, uh, you would have passed with flying colors. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action again, my dear full metal alchemist. So, did you come to the south area to stir up trouble? Not at all. I'm just visiting my former alchemy teacher in Dublin. Hmm. If she taught you, then she must be very skilled indeed. Skilled, yes, and scary. Maybe we should try to recruit her for a state alchemist position, you like. I don't think that's such a good idea. You couldn't make her come here if you sent an entire army to fetch her. It's like, uh? I found a lead, Azumi. Oh, okay. Yesterday, someone saw Al uh, going to the old fa uh, factory grounds on the west side. And after that? Something. Devil's Nest? Some guys who hang out at a bar called the Devil's Nest were carrying a big suit of armor downstairs. Past the knife sticks. The Devil's Nest, huh? Oop. Let's go pay them a visit. So she comes in, Sash. With the dress on? You the broad who's been asking too many questions? Uh-oh. If you stick your pretty neck into places it don't belong, it's gonna get cut. You guys are classic. Okay, I hear you. Uh, you better turn around before we in get beyond him, right? So where's the guy in charge? Now hold on! Don't turn your back on us, you, and the boom, 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 takes them all out. <laughs> Uh, they're getting up. You're pretty good. Rolling away. Bam. A big hand. One dude's on the ground like, uh, comes out. I have nothing to say to you. The <laughs> third rate goons. Was she? Some kind of witch? It's like, you would it. She's an alchemist. Quick. Bring her guns. Oh. Big dude comes in. Okay. What's the matter? A shark? You guys can't take care of one little mouse? Uh, Uchi. Huh? Oh, a girl. It's like, oh, I love the girls. It's like, you're in for it now. Uchi ain't like the rest of us. He's got crocodile blood running through his veins. Okay, so it's not a shark. He's a beast. A real monster. Actually, lady. Hey, you walked in a bad part of town. Oh. So don't blame me if you get hurt. Sunshine. Boom. And her husband comes in with a fist. Like, ouch. Oh, honey, you came. Get your eyes off my woman, you creep. <laughs> She's just pummeling him. It's like, ah, it's sweet of you to call me your woman. But you don't have to say it so loud. It's like, he's a monster. Well, who's going to tell us what we want to know? Just palm the dude's hands. You wish. It's like, uh, we'll never rout out our friends. Get him. Meow, cat. Just take him out. So then, pow What do you do with the armor boy? If you don't tell me all, huh? You're what? Huh? Like, fall me to blood? I'll fall me blood all of you. It's like, ah, uh, blah, blah, gross, ew. It's like, okay. All right, just clear your mind. That's right. Just like that. Look in the flame. Think back to when you were ten. Like, flicking. Go back. Back to that day when your soul was transmutated. Yeah. Nope, not working. 
I guess he doesn't know. Are you sure you're doing it right? I was certain um, hypnosis would do the trick. I don't know, boss. This is my first time trying it on a guy like him. What a waste of time. Just take him apart and let and let me and not analyze him. I can do a little alchemy myself. Okay. Take him. If you're gonna do that, you should at least bring in someone with the skills of a state alchemist. I don't want to be dissected by amateurs. Whoa, kid's got a point. Okay, huh? Yeah, nervous still, right? I like guys like you, but got this helmet. What I don't like is you acting like you're not afraid. I can rip you apart with my bare hands. The law's coming out. You want that? Calm down. He's our only lead. Hmm? There's only one thing that I'm afraid of. Hmm. What's that noise? It's like rumbling. Boom. And speaking of that thing, here it comes. A door appears. Bam. Creak? Huh? There she is. Kaboom. Sorry to barge in. Hey, what the heck? Whoosh. You stupid moron and just dust the dude on How the heck could you let yourself get kidnapped? I'm so sorry. Like, yep. Like, ow, ow. Oh, yeah, she's still inside. Hey, we're the ones asking questions around here. Who the heck are you? Like, I'm a housewife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chapter 28 A Fool's Courage. In one of the alchemy books I've read, they talked about something called a homunculus, an artificial human being. But it said that it's forbidden to create a human being using alchemy. No one's ever made a homunculus. It's impossible. That can't be. Nothing is impossible. And the proof is standing right in front of you. And like bam, pow, smash, pow, thud, slam, bam, whack. Got them all. Doom. Hey, hey, hey. That's harsh, Lay. You didn't even give us a warning. You in charge here? I'm here to pay you for taking such care of my friend. Like, now I'm taking him back. It's like, doom. Uh, I can't allow that. Okay, then they punch him. Boom. Huh? You sure like surprises, don't you, lady? Oh. So do I. Quick, quick. It's like skin? Your fingers. Are they broken? Whack. Oh. Teacher? Give rest, will you? Harden his arm? I don't fight women. Got a rather unique body. Ain't that the truth? It takes more than you can deal out to scratch this hide. Ah, where's Ed? Did my brother come with you? Like, huh? No. He hasn't come back yet. Huh? I thought you said that your big brother was dead. I never said that. Teacher, he's a monkless. Hey, why do you have to go and tell her? Like, well, what are you saying? There's more than that, teacher. He might know a way for us to get our original bodies back. I need to tell my brother right away. He's really a monkless? Like, look at him. What? You want your old body back? But the one you have now is so much more useful. No, it's not. So all we have to do is beat him up until he spills his guts. Well, I guess, but... Ah, teacher! You're hurt! Don't do it! Don't do it! My hands still gushing blood? Uh-huh. Plus, I really don't like beating up women. Okay. So she's like beating up the other guys? I just want to know how his soul was transmuted. Why do you need to know about that? Oh, to heck with this, greed. It's like, why don't you slice his brought up? That's when she punched him. Slam! Uh, Dorchit. Meanwhile, Sig, I love big strong men. They caught me. Oh, we'll show you a good time. Let's have a drink. Okay, come on. Ain't that hard? Grab his helmet. How about this? I'll show him how to create a monkless. And his brother will teach me how to transmute a soul. Got it? So you want to make a deal, huh? Let's call an equivalent exchange. I like to keep things simple. You think I'm going to make deals with a kidnapper? Don't make me. Teacher, please, bring it here. Please just get him. Like, this is a chance we've been waiting for. 
Your name is Greed, right? As an alchemist, I prefer to create things. I don't like saying things like this. If anything happens to that boy, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Oh, no, he means it. I'm going. Hey, what are you doing with this woman? Like, well, God. well wait, let me explain. It's not what you, it looks like. Like, uh, like, wow, your teacher really something else. Uh, thanks. They're dead. Now arriving in Dublin. Dublin Station. Phew. It sure is high out here. Okay. Now, at least the assessment didn't take as long as I expected. Okay. From a pocket watch. I hope this year we can finally get our bodies back. Okay. Heck of a town, this Dublin. Heck of a town. And the, uh, the president is like in a Hawaii shirt or like flower shirt. Lovely place, don't you think? My dear full metal alchemist. And Armstrong's with him? What, what? What are you? It's like, hmm? What do you mean, what? I came here to meet your teacher, of course. You got a melon? Here, have this. Do you like melons? Uh, thanks. Like, uh, uh, you can't be serious. You follow me onto the train? Mm hmm. Following a child is no challenge for me. Yeah, because you can oversee. I merely use the secret uh, tracking skills that have been passed down in the Armstrong family for generations. I claim, I can't take it anymore. It's like pork uh, tenderloin, 128 cents for 100 grams. Okay, they come to the shop. I'm here to see Izumi. Fetch for me, would you, my good man? Chicken breast, 160 cents. I've heard that she's quite skilled in the art of alchemy. Beef shoulder, 200 cents. Like, she, uh, has she considered applying for a state alchemist license? He's like moving closer. Beef. Pork combo. 98 cents. Hmm. It seems I have no choice. I'm sure I'm going in. Sir, please allow me to handle this. Okay. You, the stem owner of this butcher shop. I gaze upon the true beauty of a state alchemist. And he takes off his shirt. It's like flexing. Carve this in your eyeballs. Uh, okay. And... He just like muscling through, bam, just rips off his shirt with the sheer power of his muscles. Huh. It's like, now they have a muscle off. Clasp each other's hands. Whoa, it's a friendship forged for muscle. Uh, huh? I was what? Comes in the back. What do you mean, kidnapped? What happened? Things got a little complicated. But why? Do they want a ransom? Uh, they want information about our soul. In other words, they wanted to bring you to them. Who in the world would want to know about something like that? A man named Greed with an um, Oro Borales tattoo on his hand. Okay. Prison is over here in this. It's hard to believe, but apparently he's a real homunculus. Oh. So we've seen for the homunculus. Okay. You're kidding, right? I wish I was. This guy definitely. And not a normal human being. Her hand. Teacher, do you do that to your hand? Oh, this? It's nothing. She's waiting around. He caught me off guard. That's all. Hmm. Teacher, I'm going to go meet this guy. By yourself? This problem is owls and mine. I'm going alone. It's like, you idiot. I'm not letting you go into such a dangerous place by yourself. I'll be fine. I mean, all they want is information. It's not like they're going to try to kill us or anything. <laughs> right? So don't worry, everything will be fine. Uh, all right, all right, do whatever you want. Turn back. Just make sure you come home in time for dinner. Y yes, ma'am, President. Okay. Leave the door. The Devil's Nest. Okay. I wonder what she's making for dinner anyway. She crumples. The no. Okay. Boom. Going in. What cute little boy. Come to have a drink with Mama. Like kid like you shouldn't be in a place like this he's like uh boom doom comes in slam are you greed and you must be edward elric right sorry to drag you down here um, it would have been a lot easier if we uh only needed this kid in armor be careful big brother this guy is a among us right that's a pretty bold claim are you for real I make it a matter of principle, never lie. Okay. If you want, I'll prove it to you. I'm gonna hit him with the hammer again? I'll second thought. 
I don't think so. It's in Missy. Ed, he says he'll tell you how to make a monk list. If you tell him how you transmuted my soul. And equivalent exchange. Okay, yep. I hear you guys are interested in creating bodies. It's a fair trade, right? Like, don't make me laugh. It's like, how dare you, you crook in the clothes on. Uh, Ed? Are you really that stupid? I don't care what you and the other members of the Oro Bell or Oro are scheming, but you kidnapped my brother and hurt my teacher, and now you want an an equivalent exchange. You are without doubt the vilest creature on the on the face of the earth. You want to know about souls? I'm not going to tell you anything. She's still shuddering. I'll crush you, creeps. I'll smash you. If you want your if I want your secrets, I'll force you to tell me. In other words, I'm taking you all and giving you nothing. Taking all and giving you nothing. I'll never make an equivalent exchange with villains like you. And I'm, uh, clap, clap, clap. This guy's an idiot. Time to use force again. Want the sword? Uh oh. Don't kill him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The dog. It will be my pleasure to break a few bones. Yeah, it's going in and Ed's off the ground. You're slow. A lot slower than some uh, condemned criminals I met. Boom. Clobber them. Next. Got the blade out, Loa. Sir? Take the armor boy. I'm going to rip him apart for analysis. Yes, sir. What? I'm grabbing him up. Take Dorchet and patch him up too. Watch it, Loa. I'm still here, remember? Oops. Sorry about that, Martel. Not so fast, Random. Ching! Comes in. Ooh, Random, in his hand. Brats who won't listen need to be taught. Oh. Chaining? Going in? Uh, swiping. Okay. He's, uh, key mine. Uh, pillars. Now he's creating more. Stepping. Okay. Comes down, cling. Give up, boy. It's useless. You can't even scratch me with that letter opener. Dum 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 dum. One bash. Oh, crane spikes. Go through. Oh, crane dust. Oh, legs wrapped around his neck. Boom. Some flying the ground. Gush. You left your head wide open. Boom. Claw him. Whoa. Uh, oh, slashed him. Ow, that hurts. That would hospitalize a normal human for sure. Really? But well, you're not normal at all, are you? Crick, crick. Well, the shape of my body and its biological components are the same as any human. I regenerate instantly, and I have an impenetrable shield. So I guess you could say I'm a little different. You're not going to tell me something crazy like you're immortal, are you? I wish. But for practical purposes, I'm close enough. Do you understand what you're dealing with now, kid? You can't get through my shield. And even if you do, it won't matter. Do the exchange. That's the smart thing to do. Yeah. Look, I know your type. You're the kind of guy who doesn't mind getting the stuff beat out of him. But totally loses his cool when your brother or someone gets hurt. Your stereotypical stoic hero. You idiot. Are you going to let your stubbornness keep you from uh, your one shot at the info you need and getting your brother back? I'll get him back after I beat you. You can't keep regenerating forever. I'll just attack you where you don't have any armor at all. That's all. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't giving it my all until up until now. Oh, full body? I don't like to show people this because it takes away from my um, sexy good looks. Okay. Did I tell you? Whoa. You never put a scratch on me. Yeah, he's totally different. Rumble. Okay. You okay? Don't you? Put me down. Ah, uh, ow. Else not. I've been losing a lot lately. Oh. It's okay, little buddy. Pat sniff. Sniff, sniff. What is it? Ah. Uh, I don't like the smell of this. It's something familiar. No, it can't be. It's them. Ooh, the military. 
Emmy Sentry neutralized. Alloway secured. I repeat. Protect the large suit of armor and the boy with the gray hair. Capture the man with the Ouroboros tattoo on his hand. And the rest, eliminate them. Got the president. Attack! Oh, yeah, you overheard. Man, how's he gonna get this? Chapter 29 Thigh of the King. <laughs> Got sheeps. Dog. They're charging. Bang, bang. Blah, 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 blah. Jump, 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 jump. You something. Uh, bang, bang. Oh, never go back to the lab. Basement level one secured. Blam. Take him out. Level two. Oh. Dog. Take him out. And they come in. Slash. Ugh. See? I'm strong after all. Right? Right? In front of you. In front. More come in. Click. Ugh. Boom. Oh, comes from the side. The hammer. Don't let your guard down. Thanks. Uh, they completely overrun the top floor. Okay. So is there a way out? The red exit is blocked too. What about greed? I'm sure he'll be fine on his own. We gotta protect this level with our lives until Greed gets here. Yeah, well. Okay. Are you dead yet? And Ed's down? He snapped out of the blade. Ooh, all being bloody. <laughs> Came back up. That's the spirit. Kid should be full of energy. Boom, crack. Oh, he's breaking his hand. Try all you want. You won't hurt me. Huh? Throws him, slam the boxes. Is that liquor? Okay. Well then. Picks him up. Are you telling me the secrets of the soul? Huh? Thanks. What? I lost some of the blood that had rushed to my head. Now I can think more clearly. His arms just like wrecked. I've shed some excess weight too. I have the world's greatest mechanic. Oh. Can you believe my hand still works after all this? Claps. Get some, huh? Ugh. You're still gonna resist, huh? Darn it, just stay still. Some blade knuckles. Boom! Clash. Oh, Armstrong. Clang! Okay, ooh. <laughs> he makes a little Armstrong on his uh, hammer. Ugh. Now do you see? Oh, it's the little. A mark that was none other than alternate blocking technique which has been passed down in the Armstrong family for generations <laughs> spotlight uh I see I guess ordinary methods won't work this time time gets serious taking off okay growing good lord what the heck comes in for body blows boom in the face grip oh Gonna send him flying. Boom on his back. Uh, huh? Yank. Boom. It's like manhandling across the the wall. Uh, grind, grind, grind. Take his head. Come in. Boom. Uppercuts. Kapow. Smack. B -b Bam. Slam. He's down. <laughs> Ooh, he's blinking from the eye. Look. It's been quite a while since I've. Been in such a blood boiling melee. Major Armstrong, your blows are as powerful as ever. I was also a soldier in the Ishbalan extermination campaign. Hmm? So we were once allies. Okay. All the more reason to end this. I don't enjoy senseless killing. Surrender. Sorry. Afraid I can't oblige. Got the members behind him? Major, step aside. Give us a clear shot. Major! Don't be a fool. You just throw away your life. If your present King Bradley is in this very raid, huh? King Bradley? Why would the fear president come here? <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? He's the one that gave the order to kill the Ishbalans. He must be planning to wipe us all out. Then the guys at the bar are already Oh yeah. Loa. We're all numbered and outgunned. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Get an emergency escape. Uh, all right. Oh. He was stabbed by the president. What's going on here? Major Armstrong. Uh. Dorchet. He's taken down. Bam, 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 bam. Fire off. Comes in, slashes the dude. 
Okay. Big guy. Bradley. Poof. Takes him out. Dang. My orders were to kill everyone, but the targets I, I specified. Stop showing mercy in the enemy. That's why you're never that's why you're never promoted. Oh. And it's holding back. Whoa. Like got a bone? Ah. Oh. Oof. It's going back. Smack. Got those spikes. There. Good as new. But how'd you do that? Quick. Yeah, comes in with a kick. Boom, palm the chest. Bap. What was that for? Boom. Comes more spikes. Same move again. I told you that won't. Ghost room. What? Ah, it's on the ground. Ah. What did you do, my shield? It was easy enough once I thought about it. You can't make something out of nothing. Therefore, your shield is being created from something. You told me yourself that. You're created from the same biological, biological material as we humans. And I thought, what's an element in the body that could become a shield that's stronger than steel? The substance that makes up one third of our bodies. Carbon. Okay. The, the hardness of carbon varies depending on how the atoms are combined. Like, for example, compare, compare the lead from a pencil. With a diamond. Once I understand the chemistry at work, it's a simple matter of alchemy. Haha, <laughs> you're good. This is more fun than I thought. Thunk, come in, slabs his abs, and I just discovered one more thing. Elbism. Oh, some blind doof. Rip, rip. You can't harden your body and regenerate at the same time. Oh, ha <laughs> I thought you were just a hot breaded brat. I guess I was wrong. Ooh, I like you, kid. But I don't think I want to fight you anymore. Sorry, gotta run. Grin. Hey! Come in. Slam. We found the boy, huh? Blam! The fine off. Haha. <laughs> See you later, brat. Slam. Hey, wait! We got the boy. Are you alright? After him! Let me go. Hey. We're here to rescue you. Stay still. I don't need to be rescued. There's something I have to ask him. Let me go. The roof? Okay. Okay. Got Al. You're not going anywhere. Like, stay put, you big oaf. I don't wanna. Okay. Greed. Oh. So you and Mantle, or Mart, so you and Martel are still here. There was a lot of commotion up above. Loa left us here and went back. Yeah. Things got kind of out of hand. Uh, we gotta get out of here. That's not gonna happen. President, uh oh. Who's there? The president? What's he doing here? King Bradley? Uh, hmm. What's the most important man in the country doing in a place like this? How old are you? Huh? I'll be 60 this year. When you get old, your body doesn't move the way you want it to. Mm, I know it. Five years older, okay. So I just want to get this tiresome job done and go home. You should retire, old man. Boom, cuts off his arm. What the? Uh, hey, the old man's got spunk. Coming in. Rush in. Cough limbs. Wow. This is sore through his skull. Bam, sends flying through the, the wall. Bam. No time to heal, uh oh. Or put on armor. Why you? Bam. You darn. Goes to the neck. Double. You know. Wait, what? I don't have your ultimate shield or the ultimate spear that can cut through anything. Took off his eye patch. So you're probably wondering how I dis I distinguish myself on the field of battle. With bullets whizzing all around me. Can you guess? Zoom, zoom, zoom in his eyes. Oh, shoot! Just as you have the ultimate shield, I have the ultimate eye. Wait, he's one of them? So, great. How many times do I have to kill you for you to stay dead? 
Wait, what? So the head of the military is uh, monkless. And he's trying to kill Greed, so... Are there like two factions? Okay, side story. The second lieutenant goes to battle. Okay. My name is second lieutenant Gene Havoc. Recently I was transferred to Central HQ. I'm a country boy at heart. It's going to take me some time to get used to the sea life. So why am I in a place like this? Okay. What? Your girlfriend dumped you? Oh, he got slapped, huh? She said, what's more important, me or your job? The job? Huh. But he said, I serious fears. Because if, like, she could have went with him, but they just started dating, so. Tell him about it. Any real man should be able to keep a job and a woman. Whose fault do you think this is? Royce. Major, Ma Major Armstrong. You're from Central. Introduce the lieutenant here to a nice girl. Let me see. Hmm. I think I know just the person. Really, sir? My sister. Like, she has, she has my own fine features and winning smile. And ta-da, Alexandra Luis. Uh, it's just him in a dress. Ah, yes, she's a good girl, but due to her modest, uh, retiring nature, she rarely has gem colors. Holy havoc! Like <laughs> keeping back a mustache, Colonel. I'll never sleep again thanks to the images you guys put in my head. Calm down. The Armstrongs are a noble stock. Heirs to great wealth and power. Hmm. Dr. Crowley. It could be very useful to get close with them. Like, this is the chance of a lifetime for a country boy like you. You're on the fat track to a fortune. Huh? Don't think it over. It's an order. Go meet her. Ha 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 ha. You're enjoying this, aren't you, sir? Oh. Head the Armstrong family. Philip uh Sargantos Armstrong. His father, okay. Ah, let me tell you about the Armstrong family. Like four hundred and eighty years. We blah blah blah. Been in the service for of the general. Blah blah blah. I myself was blah blah blah. He's like uh I apologize. My older my older sister. Uh my older sisters are away, so my father is the only one here to entertain you. Is that his mom? Garland, are you born our guest again with your self, uh, agri agronite, um, aggrandizing prattle? Mother. Oh, well, this is mother. Okay. Okay, she looks better. Uh, clack, clack, clack. That's his mother? Phew. At least she looks um, normal. <laughs> They're huge. Curl, tall. Ho 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 ho! Catch me again. Uh, quit being shy and come meet our guest, Catherine. Irk. Yes, mother. Which one would you look like, him or her? Please be more like her. And okay. Hum. It's so good to meet you. I'm Catherine Ellie Armstrong. Ta da! It's like hormonal about face. Wow. Yeah, she looks normal. It's like hooray! Isn't she beautiful? And as I said, my splint image. What are you talking about? Our bottom eyelashes are identical. Are they? Uh, uh, sure. Don't be so shy. Talk to the lieutenant. Uh, e yes. So sweet. Swin. So, uh, Miss Catherine. Do you have any hobbies? Um, the piano. How cute. There's no way this girl is the major's younger sister. I like, I like to pick up the piano sometimes. Uh, I retract my previous statement. I'm 100% certain. This is the Major's younger sister, but super in strength side, her face, body, wealth, and social standing are all great. Has my luck finally turned? Miss Catherine, like stern. Would you like to go with me? Hmm. He seems like a good lad. <laughs> the father's like, ho, 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 ho. It's like, uh, they make a nice couple. She's blushing. M Mr. Havoc. Yes? I, I like strong men, like my older brother. Strong oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Havoc. You're just not my type. I hope I didn't cause you any trouble. Quick, quick, quick. It's like, hmm. Did you break something? Yeah, skull. I haven't seen Second Lieutenant Havoc lately. Male female relations are difficult to build, aren't they, Lieutenant? Sir? Hmm. He stayed in bed for a week. Aw. 
Poor guy. Okay. Cruel girl. Uh, I finished upgrading Ed's arm with the uh, rocket punch ability. What? When do you do that? Fire. It goes off. Wah. Clean. Impossible to retrieve. It's like, how could you do that to my new invention, pal? How's this my fault? It goes off. Okay. Um. Everyone from Devil's Nest. Oh, they're all dead. There's too many of them. Okay, we got the soul. The truth took my boxers. I feel a draft. Uh, the Bradley School's ultimate sword fighting uh, technique. Five sword style. Huh. <laughs> Two in the air. Right hand. Right, left leg. And butt. Okay. And that is volume seven. Wow. Man. Okay, let's review. Okay. Chapter 26. Uh, Al gets. Oh, um. Ed goes to HQ to. Do the assessment. To continue being a state alchemist. Um. Scars. Um. Exercising. But then, uh, two guys step in from, um, Yoke. Uh, the dude was at the coal mine. Um, uh, go to Al, who got the message to, like, meet them. Um, he runs into their, uh, Ben warehouse. Gets caught. Kidnapped. Gonna meet the master. Uh, switch to his teacher. Uh, Owls. Kidnapped. Got the Lake Chimera in his body. Harsh snake. Okay. So we learn about that. Everyone there is like Chimera. And here comes Greed. He's looking over at Owl. We learn about the Ouroboros tattoo. That. And he knows less than. Um, okay, we haven't met Sloth. Okay, so we met Lust, Gluttony, um. Um, what's that one? Envy and uh, greed, and then what is the president? Pride. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Okay. So we got less gluttony and greed. Envy. Okay. Sloth, wrath, pride. Not sloth, because greed would have recognized him or her. Um, yeah, I think. Okay. Is he pride or wrath? I'm thinking wrath because he's like the head of the military, but maybe pride. Hmm. So, I was like transmutating big punch, and uh, he shows that he can't like die, but there has to be like a mount that uh he can regenerate. 
So what is it? And then Ed's doing his assessment. He gets the pass. Um, the teacher finds the hideout. She goes in to rescue him. And they come in. He's an alchemy. And like they're like, who are you? And she's like, I'm a housewife. So. Hmm. So you get the back. Yeah, they did say that. They were talking about homunculus back in that flashback. Okay. So she beat up everyone. Uh, Ed comes back to it's called Dublin. <laughs> Armstrong and her husband have like a flex off where they instantly become like friends. Teacher tells um, Ed about the tattoo that they're homunculus. And King Bradley overhears this. Okay. He goes down there. Just comes in. And he wants his brother back. But then he starts brawling with him. Because... And yeah, they're not going to give his brother back. He's taking him out one by one. When Greed's like regenerating. And like showing his uh, armored self. That's when the military shows up. And they have a lot of people. Okay. Uh, chapter 29. They storm the bar. And killing everyone basically. They're going one by one, dying. Um, Ed's like out cold, and then he's getting back up. And they still fight. He's like learning um, what his body's made of, so he can counteract it, and, like go through it. And then Armstrong's find the um, the big guy hulking out. They have this brawl. Uh, military comes in. Bradley comes in through like the hole. Like taking out a bunch of people with a sword skill. And. Taking it one by one. Find out why Armstrong has been like promoted because. He, he doesn't kill anyone I guess. It's going through his armor. Hmm. And then the military shows up, the room, they get separated, they're keeping Ed back, he goes to the ceiling, now has the snake girl in him, while uh, Greed's like coming up, and Bradley's behind Greed. So they fight, He's, like repeatedly chopping off his arms, like body parts. Chopping through him. Sends him to the wall. And. Takes off his eye patch. Goes double sorts the throat. So Greed has the ultimate shield. What do the other ones have? We find out that Bradley is a monkless. Has the ultimate eye. So Greed. How many times do I have to kill you. For you to stay dead. I thought they were all working together. Oh, well, Greed isn't working with anyone. He's working by himself. So. So, Lusk, Lenny, and um, Envy are working together. I'm not sure if they're working with um, one of the other. Another of the Seven Dead Sins. The two that are missing. Uh, Sloth, I think, and. It's either Raph or Pride. I'm... Mm, I don't know. But you would think Greed would, like, know what the other ones look like, too. I mean, he knows what Lust looks like and what Sloth looks like. 
So maybe, I don't know. And these guys were like, created like 200 years ago? Or they have 200 years of lifespan. And he's 60. No, King Branley was 60, right? And that's volume 7. Hmm. Man. Now that title makes um, more sense. The Eye of the King. So how do they like work? Hmm. Well, um, yeah, on there. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, if you're new, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.